Ah, oh, good morning, JK. You know what? I'm feeling really proud of myself after rescuing poor Dana from that neutron star. In fact, I feel so chipper that I'm going to supercharge the FSD this time. Are you sure, sir? Yes, JK. Well, I've watched you enough times. It's a piece of cake. Oh, yes, sir. Piece of cake, sir. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, just line her up. Throttle up and down a little. Easy, easy. Okay, preparing for entry. Gently ease her in. Oh yes, that's it. That, that feels good. Left a little. Careful. Oh, she's she's moving around a lot. Oh no. Oh no, I'm I'm losing control. Ah! Ah! Now's not really a good time, Mr. Medina. We're experiencing um, a few technical issues. Well, it's all the darker down here, and I don't want to be a dying right now, Skeeper. Maybe I should come to the bridge and help you out, eh? Uh, no, everything's in hand. Um, your your assistance is not required. Machine out. Oh, oh boy, that was close. Uh, well, it's lucky we didn't get sucked too far into those cones. What on earth happened? I didn't do anything wrong. There must have been a fault somewhere, surely. JK, let's have a damage report. Congratulations on your purchase of Achilles as Astro Automaton designation JK72. Please refer to the instruction manual and be sure to run the highlighted customization program in order to make full use of this unit's functionalities. And we wish you many years happy flying. You what? JK, did you hear me? I said damage report. I am sorry, sir. I do not understand that question. To enable appropriate question and response protocols, please refer to chapter 4, paragraph 57A of the Achilles Astro Automaton User Guide. Oh no, this isn't good. How on earth am I going to fix this? I don't have the first clue about programming robot-y things. Let's try turning it off and on again. That usually fixes things. But before I do that, I better go and land at the nearest planet and check out the damage. Hang on. What's going on? I've, I've got no thrust. Oh, that's all I need. The bloody reactor's down now. What am I going to do? Um, think man, think man. Um, uh, ah, hang on a minute. Machine to Medina. Do you, uh, do you still fancy helping out? I've got a little job for you. Uh, let me guess. Go patrol the area for the pirates, Roberto. Oh, heavens no, no. Nothing as dangerous as that. No? I just, um, I just needed to go to engineering and, uh, maybe start the reactor. A reactor? As in uh, the room with all the radiation in it? That's not in my job description, Skipper. Besides, Roberto would like to keep his dangly bits and his little swimmers safe. Uh, why don't you send in a Mr. Roberto? Um, I would, but he's, um, he's not working. So, if he's not working, then who's a fly in the ship? Well, me, of course. Mamma mia. Well, in that case, what do you need Roberto to do in the reactor room? I don't know, um, just switch it back on. <sighs> Let me see what I can do. Oh, skip, wait, uh, I have one condition. 
You gotta let uh, Roberto sit on the bridge uh, from time to time. What you say? What? Okay, fine, whatever. Just, just get it working. Oh, this is a good one, Roberto. Ten years. Ten years you spent shooting the pirates out of the sky. Then on one day you take a fancy new cutter out for a bit of ravioli, and the boom! No more ribeyes. No more pasta for Roberto. Now you work for the son of an idiot, uh, breaking down every few days. How do this car call himself a machine and not a broken a hunk of junk? I wonder. But Roberto doesn't blame the idiot machine. Uh. It's the fault of the Pilots Federation. You see, back when I was a commander, you didn't get paid so much to scan a torpedo ball of rocks. And what's with this loop all with the skimmers or the stakings or the passengers? You have to do it twice as much of work with a less reward. But nowadays they give any chump a licenza and these people complain about how they don't get paid enough. The entitled little bambinos crying in their engineered gunders after spending a week on the nithosis. But then uh, that's probably what I should be doing right now, instead of putting my little testicoli in the toaster for this guy. Uh, where is this thing? Okay, here we go. This is the thing. Okay, let's just uh, remember what, uh, what we have to do. All right, uh, they designed these ships for the idiot machinas, so I'll probably just have to push on this button here. Yeah, that's probably it. There we go. Okay, anyone could have done that. A, a freaking a bambino could have done that. Uh, well, we live another day at the cost of Roberto's ability to make a, a little Roberto's. Uh, and we roll again. Hey, a machina. Skipper, skipper, any good? Nice work, Mr. Medina. Carry on. Turgeon, I've got a message from that commander and his automaton. You know the one? He helped us save Christmas for creepy Uncle Gwydion. Seems they've got themselves in a bit of trouble. What? You got a message from Machine? Honestly, Cass, first it was covert literary tryst with Shabuka, then you're secretly chatting to that girl that journey over on my back, and now you've got Commander Machine messaging you too. Dear oh dear, what are you like, eh? You do know he's just called Machine, he's not actually a real machine, yeah? Oh hardy ha. You're just me and you are. Besides, the message isn't from Commander Machine anyway. It's actually from his automaton, JK. Oh, so it is another machine after all then, eh? I see. Oh, please. Pack it in for God's sake. Nah, I'm just messing with you. Right, how far away are they? I hope I don't have to deviate too far from the next waypoint. Not sure I can stand another them. 50 jumps of Andrew saying, Are we there yet? Are we there yet? They're only 13 jumps away, and no need to worry, because it's actually in the direction of our next waypoint anyway. Oh, well, that's a relief. All right, let's get cracking then, eh? Here we go. Okay, time to turn you off and on. And whilst you're rebooting, I'd better go and inspect the damage we caused. Look at the state of that. 
Oh man, the whole shot to pieces. Well, I don't think I'll be able to hammer those dents out. There's nothing I can do here. Let's get up there and start limping towards the next waypoint. Anyway, JK should have booted up by now. I'm sure he'll have a few ideas. How are you feeling, JK? Are you all back up and running now? Verzeihung, Sir, aber es scheint, als habe ich Schwierigkeiten, Ihre Anfragen zu verstehen. What the hell is this? Come on, JK, speak English. You know I don't do foreign languages. Anscheinend wurde ein Teil meiner Programmierung beschädigt. Ich befinde mich offensichtlich im abgesicherten Modus, Sir. Meinen Aufzeichnungen zufolge aufgrund eines abrupten Energieverlustes. Sie wissen nicht zufällig irgendetwas darüber, Sir. Look, I've got the faintest idea what you're banging on about. Well, it looks like I'll be flying this ship on my own then. Sir, das wäre eine gute Idee, Ihre Notfallparke zu aktivieren, damit Schiffe in der Nähe auf unsere missliche Lage aufmerksam gemacht werden. Huh? What? Damaged shipper? Well, no shit, Sherlock. Stupid thing must be screwed up still. Well, the chances of bumping into anything out here are going to be slim to none. All I can do is head for the next waypoint, I suppose, and trust to luck. Might be an idea to fire up the beacon. Mm, beacon. 